Hey babe, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be installing the Zwig. So if you like what you see, make sure that you stay tuned until the very end. If you aren't subscribed, do that down below and let's get straight into it. Alright, so first things first, I am going in with a ball cap that is already done. I did it off cam. Um, and now I'm going in with a couple of layers of glue using the Iomi Keratin glue that I get from Shara Hair. Um, so I'm going in with my first layer. And the first layer, the aim of the first layer is just to cover the ball cap and also go a little bit into the skin. My ball cap, like I said, I did off camera and I used um, Perfect Touch glue to actually go in with it, the gluing spray. I think it's a little better than the Got To Be Glue spray. So make sure that you check that out. Um, and now I'm taking the first layer of glue and I'm drying it with some cool air on my hair dryer. Um, the aim of this, again, is just to lay down my bald cap a little better than what um, the spray can actually do and once I see that my first layer is dry I will go in with my second layer the second layer doesn't necessarily have to go onto the bald cap it's mostly for the wig um, but I am going over the bald cap as well as my skin and now I'm stretching the glue further down to an area that I think um, my wig is going to reach to I'm going in with multiple layers of glue because I am attempting to hold this wig on for a couple of days. I'm not a fan of sleeping with my wig. I usually take off an installation. But um, in this case over here, I am trying to see how long my install can actually last. So now I just show you guys the wig that I'm using. And I'm just going to tint the lace a little while I wait for the second layer to dry. Um, and after tinting the lace, I also go in with some powder after the foundation to set it. You can also use a spray, a gluing spray to secure it. And now I'm going over my wig cap as well as the glued area, going over with foundation as well as powder. And of course, I know that the glue is stretching a little further than I would like. So I'm going in with some alcohol, rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip. I find that it's better than a cotton pad because it doesn't leave the white residue. I do use a cotton pad later in the video so you'd be able to see. But um, I'm liking how that looks. Now I'm going to go in with my third and my final layer. The only reason why I went in with the third layer is because the others dried down. Um, I was kind of all over the show over here. But I'm going in with my third layer um, and I'm not using as much glue. As you can see, the glue is really, really tacky. So I'm just going to spread that out again in the area only that I think the, the lace is actually going to be laying on the front of my head. I'm seriously blessed with a massive forehead, which really helps because I find the closer that your wig cap is to the actual lace that you're trying to lay in front, the easier it will be for it to lift. So if you can get your wig cap to be close to your hairline and then get your hair to be as far away from the wig cap end, that will be perfect. Okay, so now I'm prepping my wig um, and putting it in position, making sure that the corners are reaching where they need to be reaching um, before drying the glue down. Because the minute it's dry, I need to go in and make sure that it is secured. So I'm taking out any flyaways, any hair that might get in the way because I don't want a situation where the hair gets stuck underneath the glue because it does make a massive difference. It tends to make the install look very untidy. My glue is clear and that means it's tacky and because it's tacky, all I really need to do is place the end of the wig onto the glue section or at least according to how I measured um, and just stick it on. That's all I need to do. There's no heavy lifting that's involved but you do want to make sure that it is in the right position, that you are sticking it on properly and you're working via a section. Otherwise, it can get really messed up because it's really difficult to lift the glue or to lift the lace from the glue once you've stuck it on. Once the glue is stuck on and I'm happy, I'm just going to do another check for some hairs or some flyaways. And then I'll just comb using my rat tail comb, comb the hair into the glue or kind of the lace into the glue so it can stick a little better. Because as you remember, we have glue in a very wide section so it can cover some of the lace as well. So that's what I'm doing right now to make sure that everything is neat and tidy. Then with whatever leftover glue, because I didn't measure it, I'm just going to wipe away the glue with a Q-tip again and some rubbing alcohol. But if you'd like and you want to be really, really sure and you don't want to use excess glue, you can always just measure it with some concealer and mark it off on your forehead and then you'll know where to start and where to end with your glue. 
I just laid my wig down with a headband right now. It's not really necessary because the wig is literally secure. But I'm going in with some silicone um, onto my hair just a tiny bit. Because silicone can really weigh the hair down, it will really make your hair stiff if you use too much. Um, and then I'm going through with a couple of passes of the flat iron. Um, I don't really need to do this, but I'm just doing it to give the hair kind of like a fresh look um, because I haven't recently washed it or anything like that. So I just wanted it to look really nice so i've applied the silicone and now i'm removing the headband that i used um, to lay the glue and as you can see i do have some glue that is still stretching over but that's fine so i'm just checking my hairline and if there are any hairs that are caught onto the glue after laying i use a gentle brush to brush it back or a rat tail comb um, and as you can see the wig is literally secure now i'm just going to go in with a cotton pad and you're going to see what i was actually talking about earlier when using the cotton pad, I get some remnants of the cotton that remain back. But I'm rubbing the cotton pad in a forward motion. I'm not swiping it across, but as you can see, there's still some residue. But that's all good. So I'm just going to be styling the wig right now just to make sure everything is laying flat. I'm going in with some mousse from Aomi Keratin. And I know usually we like using a hot comb for this. But let me tell you, a hairdryer with the right nozzle on it is more effective than a hot comb so i have this hair dryer from clicks the safeway hair dryer and let me tell you this hair dryer is go to it i've had a couple of these and they're really really good so if you can get your hands on this hair dryer you'd be doing yourself a favor so i'm just drying um with the hair dryer and i'm using hot air just to lay everything flat and it's laying really really flat so nicely i'm really impressed and now i'm going in with my aomi keratin wax stick as well so i'm just going around the front i don't want to use hot air in the front um or the hair dryer in the front so i'm just going to use a hot comb right now but again the aim of this is putting in some wax and then the way that i'm combing with a rat tail comb it gives you more definition then you can see kind of your pluck work and it looks a little more natural gives you that relaxed hair effect so i'm just holding in my hot comb over there into the hair where the wax is laying so i'm going up in front and then i'm going down on the sides with the hot comb so now that my styling is essentially done i'm ready to melt my lace so the glue gets it down but you really need to melt the lace in for it to blend a little better i'm gonna have some issues on the side over here because of that cotton but it's okay and because of the glue that's showing but i'm spraying the aomi keratin lace melting glue or lace melting spray and i'm spraying on the wig or at least on the lace and a little bit on the hairline as well and then i'm using cool air from my hair dryer just to dry it to make sure that it's tacky you don't want to touch it too much because the minute you touch it it's like tacky glue if you touch it and you lift your finger you kind of get that um, gray cast that is remaining so you want to touch it as little as possible but you want to make sure that everything is melted in and then i use the back of my rattle comb to melt the lace in and then the combing parts to comb into the hair to melt that in because there is some product on the hairline as well um, this side looks a bit better than the previous side because it doesn't really have um, the residue from the cotton pad from earlier don't use cotton pads i guess we get the points now um but yeah cool air on there and we're all good and then i'm going to lay it flat so i know many a times people love laying the section really really flat with the glue on i really don't like the look because the glue gives kind of a sheen and a shine and when you get the sheen and the shine and you lay it down flat with your um headband it kind of doesn't look i don't know i, I just don't like the look of it um yeah but i'm going in right now with my lasterizer spray which is like a finishing spray or a leave-in spray for some straight hair from aomi keratin and i'm just brushing that through and everything looks good my hair is moving okay i probably have to wash it after this um, installation but for now she's looking really really good You'll see right now when I remove the headband why I love this lace melting spray. It works really well. Do you see the difference? We still see a bit of a cast, but that's fine. That's because of the glue. If you measure the glue and you don't have excess glue, you won't have the situation. 
But right now, I'm just showing you why I love the ball cap method. Every part is perfect. You get that natural effect that you really, really want. This is why I go the extra mile. I never used to like the ball cap method, but now I honestly believe in it. Now, I'm just going to blend my lace in front a little better. So I'm going in with my foundation powder and I'm dabbing it with my powder brush. You want to use as little product as possible on your lace and you also want to use a very tiny brush. You don't want to use a lot. Um, the minute you get a lot of product on your lace, it starts building up and it starts looking tacky and yeah, we don't want that. Now the wig already looks good. Everything, the install looks good, but nothing is better than a fresh, crisp parting. And you can achieve that by using your foundation or concealer just to separate that part. Obviously, if you have some over bleaching, you can use some um, eyeshadow to make sure that you're tinting the color of the wig the correct way. Um, I don't need to do that because it's not over bleached. The wig came pre pre customized. I can call it that. I just went in with extra plucking for myself, just to mimic my hairline and make it look a little more natural. And that makes such a huge difference. You don't want to take the step for granted. And I suppose that's the end of the installation. This installation lasted me a total of four days before I ripped the wig off. Um, but it definitely could have gone for like the fifth day. But yeah, that's the end. Thank you so much for staying tuned until the end of this video, babes. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you think. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love and light to you and yours. Bye.